Hey there, I'm Celia, a French freelance illustrator and full-time designer, welcoming this new studio vlog. This week, it's a really special studio vlog because I'm launching my online shop. Follow me, do a lot of preparation for the launching. For my shop opening, I ordered some prints that I received a few days ago. They are A6 prints, so it's the size of a postcard. I wanted to start small and see how it's working and then maybe I will start to do some bigger prints. I'm cutting the prints following the marks to be sure that they are perfectly centered. I ordered them with Pixar printing and I'm super happy with the quality. I previously received a sample book from them, so it was easy for me to choose the paper and the thickness to have something that I like. I'm usually always a bit annoyed by the print version versus what you can see on your screen because it's always less saturated and less flashy. But I'm really happy with these prints, they are still super saturated. I'm signing each print by hand and yes, if you wonder, it took me some time. And then I'm putting them into their packaging to protect them. I select one copy of each print to make some product photos. I'm first testing some shoots on my wood table, but the result is a bit messy because of the wood pattern. It's making the photo really busy. So I'm trying to put the prints on a colorful background. For that, I'm using a huge piece of paper that I'm putting on the table. I have a few colors. I have a dark purple, a flashy pink, a light pink, a light blue and a light purple. So I'm trying to find the best color combination between the prints and the background. In the picture I'm adding a Posca pen for the print which were made from Posca drawings and a paint tube for the prints that come from paintings. It helps me to give a little bit of context and also to give an idea about the size of the print. I always found it really interesting when you can imagine the size of the product quickly with the context or just the image. Then I'm working on the pins packaging. I printed the back of the pins on a business card size. I don't like much the square angles so I am rounding them. To fix the pins on their back, I'm using a piece of soft plastic so I can pin the pins on the paper without damaging it or damaging my table. And I'm adding the pins closer on the back so it keeps it in place. I'm really happy with the result of this packaging as well. The pins look super shiny on the starry sky. I'm cutting the plastic bag at the right size and it's almost finished. I'm fixing them with washi tape and this is the result. Thank you. 
They look super cute and they are all protected. To go with the orders on my online shop, I want to create some unique thank you cards. So I choose the lino print technique to do that. It's a bit time consuming because each print is unprinted, but the result is really original because each print is a bit different from each other because it's unmade. I'm using an end press that accelerates a bit the process. And here we go for a bunch of prints. I really love how these little cards turned out. I hope you will like them too. And this is it for this studio vlog. If you are curious or interested, my online shop is now live and you can find the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!